लेडीज एंड जेंटलमैन यू हैव कनेक्टेड टू द पटेल इंजीनियरिंग लिमिटेड क्यू वन एफ रिजल्ट्स कॉन्फ्रेंस कॉल होस्टेड बाय किरण एडवाइजर्स द कॉल विल बी फॉर फोर्टी फाइव मिनट्स ओनली एज अ रिमाइंडर ऑल पार्टिसिपेंट लाइन विल बी इन द लिसन ओनली मोड एंड देर विल बी एन अपॉर्चुनिटी फॉर यू टू आस्क क्वेश्चन आफ्टर द प्रेजेंटेशन कंक्लूड शुड यू नीड असिस्टेंस डूइंग द कॉन्फ्रेंस कॉल प्लीज सिग्नल एन ऑपरेटर बाय प्रेसिंग स्टार देन जीरो ऑन ए टच स्टोन फोन Please note that this conference has been recorded. I now hand the conference over to Mr. Jainam Savla from Kiran Advisors. Thank you, and over to you, sir. Thank you. On behalf of Kiran Advisors, I welcome you all to the conference call of Patel Engineering Limited. From management team, we have Ms. Kavita Shirvekar, managing director, Mr. Rao Lagrawal, acting chief financial officer, and Mr. Rajesh Bajaj, investor relation. Now I hand over the call to Ms. Kavita Shirvekar. over to you ma'am thank you good evening everyone and welcome to patel engineering limited q1 fy25 earnings call we have provided a presentation summarizing the company's performance for q1 fy25 along with the results on the stock exchange for your convenience i trust you you have had the opportunity to review the same at the outset this is the first earnings call without the presence of late shri rupen patel he will be missed his sudden demise left us all in shock it took us some days to grieve and get moving ahead in his own words the show had to go on so mrs janki patel has taken on the role of chairperson as a non executive director representing the promoter group additionally i have now assumed the role of managing director of the company Mr Patel had long held ambition to make Patel Engineering an indispensable part of India's infra growth thus a core team of professionals was groomed over the last decade to run the company in all eventuality further we have made recent appointments of Mr Dimelo as a whole time director he has an extensive experience of over 38 years in the infrastructure and real estate industry including international experience and mr shankara rao has been appointed as an independent director dr rao has 35 years of management and engineering experience and expertise in the infrastructure industry banking and finance and institutional development he has 10 years of board level management experience and served in prestigious government of india all india development financial institutions like idbi idfc IFCS and its subsidiaries that the company today has a settled leadership that is well versed in all the business operations now coming to the sector outlook the government proposed spending of INR 1.11 lakh crore on infrastructure highlights the importance attached to this industry as an economic engine historically infrastructure has been a labor intensive industry Every rupee spun crore invested in the infrastructure sector generates 200 to 250 man years of employment for unskilled, semi-skilled, and skilled workforce. This in turn synchronizes well with the government's focus on job creation. Interestingly, the union budget's emphasis on promoting pump storage project is a pivotal step towards a sustainable and resilient energy future. This opens a huge opportunity for us. as more than 60 gigawatt of pump storage projects are under survey and investigation stage which shall come up for bidding in next year or two with the general elections being over now the order inflow for the entire industry is opening up which was otherwise subdued in the last year see hydro power there is an immediate opportunity of more than 30000 megawatt of projects of worth more than 1.0 lakh crores are ready to be tendered Irrigation more than 70000 crore has been allocated for Jal Jeevan Mission and another 9000 crore has been allocated for Pradhan Mantri Krishi Sanchai Yojana by the Center for FY25 in the recent budget this is apart from state budgets where again huge funds have been allocated for spending for irrigation projects by almost all the states tunneling more than 2500 km if tunneling works are coming over more than 800 projects more than 80000 crore is allocated for road projects this total up to upwards of ina 
थ्री लाख करोड़ वर्थ ऑफ प्रोजेक्ट एज पार्ट ऑफ अवर कंपनी प्लान टू ग्रो द ऑर्डर बुक वी आर ऑन कोर्स टू बीट फॉर नियरली आई नॉट फिफ्टी थाउजेंड करोड़ वर्थ ऑफ दीज ओपन प्रोजेक्ट एंड एक्सपेक्ट टू रिसीव अराउंड टेन टू ट्वेल्व थाउजेंड करोड़ वर्थ ऑफ प्रोजेक्ट इन नेक्स्ट वन ईयर नाउ कमिंग टू द बिजनेस अपडेट आई विल नाउ वॉक यू थ्रू सम ऑफ द की बिजनेस डेवलपमेंट इन दिस क्वार्टर फर्स्टली द टनल टी फिफ्टीन एंड पार्ट टी फोर्टीन प्रोजेक्ट लोकेटेड इन जम्मू एंड कश्मीर has been substantially completed and indian railway has conducted trial runs on this stretch marking a major milestone in the udampur shrinagar baramulla rail link project the uspr project enhances all weather connectivity between the kashmir valley and the rest of india the project was awarded to us by irkon international limited with a value of around rupees 2300 crore NATM technology was adopted to carry out the tunnel work a total of around 1600 skilled and semi skilled workers were involved in the project secondly at our arun 3 hydro power project site located in nepal we have achieved the final breakthrough of the hrt between phase 4 and phase 5 the final breakthrough was achieved on 4th june 2024 in the presence of honorable prime minister of nepal Uh, Sri Prachanda, moving to the new orders for the quarter, the company declared L1 for an irrigation project worth rupees 317 crore in Maharashtra, which would be executed as a joint venture with our share of 35 percent. Coming to the order book position of the company, as on 30th June, the total order book stands at rupees 17,900 crore. Out of that, 61. percent is from hydro 21% from irrigation around 11% from tunneling and rest from other sector i will now request mr rahul agarwal who has taken over as the acting cfo to take you through the financial performance of the company for the quarter thank you good evening everyone and thank you for joining the call i will now run you through the financial performance of the company for q1 fy25 on a consolidated basis the revenue from operations for q1 fy25 is rupees 1101 crore which is in line with the last year revenue which was 1118 crores this was due to subdued order inflow in last year or uh, today due to recently completed election and the impact of an early monsoon and few far projects However, the company expects to grow around 10% as guided earlier on a full year basis, and expects to get multiple orders as bidding has commenced post completion of elections. And the company expects the order book to grow around 25,000 crore in next one year, which will give a boost to the revenues in FY26. Our operating EBITDA for the quarter is around 15.3% as compared to 15.2% in the corresponding period last year. The net profit is up by 25.81 percent at rupees 48.17 crore for the quarter, as compared to 38.29 crore in the corresponding previous period. On a standalone basis, revenue from operations for Q1 FY25 is at rupees 1082.44 crores, as against 1090 crore in Q1 FY24, and the operating EBITDA is at 14.9 percent as compared to 13.95 percent in the previous corresponding period. The net profit for the quarter on standalone basis is 68 crores as compared to 130 crores in the corresponding period uh, previous period this was due to exceptional income of 91 crores in that quarter uh, mainly due to the sale of a subsidiary the sector wise revenue break up on a standalone basis for Q1 FY25 is as follows hydro power hydro power 51% irrigation 25% tunneling 11% roads and others balance 13% Moving on to the debt position, the consolidated gross debt as on 30th June stands at around 1500 crores, as against 1955 crore as on June 30th, 2023, and the total advances from clients have reduced from 831 crores to 764 crores. And gross serviceable debt has reduced from 2800 crores in June 23 to 2258 crores in June 24, a total reduction of 530 crores. 
Further, we have cash balance of around 350 crores as on June 24, as against a cash balance of 250 crore, 256 crores as on June 30, 2023. The consolidated debt to equity ratio has improved from 0.67 to 0.42 in the last one year. In Q1 FY25, we have raised equity of rupees 400 crores through QIP and we have further realized around 238 crores from arbitration awards. The same has enabled the company to reduce the debt and also augment the working capital requirements of the company. And accordingly, the finance cost in Q1 FY25 has reduced from 88 crores to 84 crores. Uh, the debt breakup is as follows. The working capital debt is around 830 crores and term debt is 665 crores, which is expected to be repaid in the next two to three years. Overall, working capital days have also come down and uh, on a gross basis, it is 206 days, but we out of which 104 days we expect to realize through arbitration and claims. Hence, net normal working capital is around 102 days. Now, I'll hand over back to Ms. Kavita for closing remarks. This has been an eventful quarter. We had to overcome an organizational loss in the form of Sri Rupan Patel. This far sighted tense has held us in a good state. Today, the company has a steady order book a settled team and robust systems and processes to tackle any eventuality. That said, we are well poised to take advantage of the opportunities arising out of the government's focus on infra push. That was a small brief from our side. Now we shall be happy to answer any further questions which you all may have. Thank you. Thank you very much. We will now begin the question and answer session. Anyone who wishes to ask a question may press star and one on the touchstone telephone. If you wish to remove yourself from the question queue, you may press star and two. Participants are requested to use headsets while asking a question. Ladies and gentlemen, we will wait for a moment while the question queue assembles. The first question is from the line of Chirak Shah from White Pine Investment Managers Private Limited. Please go ahead. Hello. Hi, hi, Hello. Everyone. Yeah, hi. How are you? Uh, thanks a lot for this opportunity. Uh, so my first question is uh, uh, just to uh, uh, while there has been a sudden and slight demise of Patelji to Pinji, but uh, if you can just elaborate and help us understand that uh, where was the maximum involved in the company in the uh, various business operations? And uh, how things will be uh, going ahead? Are you making any changes uh, in the team structure, uh, whether short-term or permanent in nature? Uh, so that will be the first question. Uh, uh, so, see, uh, let me tell you, Chirak, I'm Kavita here. Uh, see, Mr. Patel was the driving force of this organization. Uh, as I mentioned, his sudden demise left us all in shock. But he always believes in, you know, developing professional teams. His vision is, you know, development of people. Like in his own words, the show had to go on. See, I'll tell you one thing. A core team of professionals was groomed over the last decade to run the company in all eventuality. I have been involved as close quarters in turning around the company, as you are aware, from roles of high debt and minimal order book of to its present position. I have been an active part of taking strategic decisions, running critical projects and resolving project issues among other things. So Mr. Patel was a guiding force for us and like his core team, uh, engineers, professionals, financial professionals, all, we were actively involved and we were working with him under his guidance. So now I can tell you that ki the professional team developed by uh, Mr. Patel is capable of taking forward his vision ahead and work together as a team, we will come out more stronger. Hello. Yes, yeah, thanks a lot for this. Uh, so, if, if it will be safe to even assume that uh, client interaction, client facing, also the team was there and uh, yeah. 
So it, it will not be that big a challenge for us to carry his legacy forward. Uh, that is a safe uh, assumption to me. Yes, Chirag, you see, I was actively involved in project execution and meeting all clients. Yes, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, yeah, apologies for this, but this is just to reassure the investing community about it. So, uh, yeah. Yeah. the second, second no, question no, 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 is... Right. Shirag, it's business as usual for us. Yeah. The company runs as it was. Yeah. And my second question is on, on order book. So, I presume by Q3 we should start seeing the momentum back uh, from government slash... Uh, Central agency side, yeah, central PSE side. That is a safe way to look at order book flow momentum. Yes, so the order uh, bidding has started post elections in this quarter, and okay. so the order inflow should start looking maybe three three months or something down the line. Okay, so so that's what. So Q3 is a reasonable. So somewhere in Q3 or Q4 is a reasonable assumption. They would start awarding the orders. The the bidders, L1 bidders would be the getting the orders and all those stuff, right? That is a fair assumption, three to six months time. Right. Right. Great. And on the immediate basis, would you like to make a comment uh, uh, where, how, for how many orders have you bid which would come up in next 12 months? Uh, is it, would you like to comment anything on that side? So the bidding has just started. We have identified around 50,000 crores of work to bid, uh, you know, immediately so that thing will start now. Okay, great. And lastly on margins, uh, so, uh, how should one look at margins? We would be in the similar historical range or we can see some uptake on the margin uh, margin range that we have? Historical range. Okay, great. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you very much. And all the best. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, just a reminder, anyone who wishes to ask a question may press star and one on the restaurant telephone. The next question is on the line of Ananya Swaminathan from C Square Info Solution Limited. Please go ahead. Hi, thanks for the opportunity. Uh, I want to know the current order book status and the bidding pipeline as well. So, current order book is around 17,900 crores, which includes an L1 of 100 crores, and that L1 LO is received recently. So, uh, and bidding pipeline status around 50,000 crores. Okay, sir. And what about the execution period? Around four years. Okay. And any other area we are targeting uh, other than hydro? So, we are targeting uh, hydro, irrigation, tunneling, and we may also look at roads at, you know, reasonable works if they come in. Okay, and for irrigation, maximum order book size would be? So it depends on the project to project. Like it starts from 500 to 1000, 1500, 1000 crores. Okay, and how much are we eligible to bid? There is no restriction as such. Yeah, there is no restriction as such. Whatever projects are coming up for bidding, we are able to bid. It's only we have to decide which one will go ahead. Okay, okay, all right. Thank you so much. Thank you. The next question is on the line of Prashant Seshagar from Univide Corporate Research Private Limited. Please go ahead. Yeah, uh, I just wanted to ask you book bookkeeping questions. One is uh, how many employees you have at the moment uh, with a breakup on the technical side and the non-technical side? So, total employees is around 4,600, of which almost 50% uh, would be more than technical side. 50% will be technical side, okay. Yeah. And uh, can you share the number which is which was there on 31st uh, March 2024 and 31st March 2023 for the same? So, 24, I think, was somewhere around the same 4,500 and mm -hmm. for 23 would be 4,200, 300. 4,200. Okay. Uh, second question is the arbitration award money which is received. Uh, which line item it goes to? It goes in reducing the other expenses or it goes in the other income part of it? No, so this is uh, arbitration money received. 
So hmm. that will improve my uh, overall receivable positions and all in the balance sheet. So it doesn't come in the P and L at all. No, no. Okay. That was just the second one because you don't make any money on the this thing because sometimes what happens is you get a profit margin on the cost escalations. So that is not. Uh, no, no. So, so I see if it is an arbitration award already awarded in our favor, hmm. and then it is there on the books, then there will be no uh, receipt in the P and L for the same. So you don't get some extra profit or something on the cost escalations or whichever technical fees you work on, say improvement or anything. No, we receive, but we receive when we the arbitration award is received. Okay, so you account for it at that time. Yeah. Okay. okay. Just to clarify that, and third question was uh, in regard to Subansari hydroelectric project. uh have you completed your share of work or is it pending still so the work is going on and we expect to complete in another one year time yeah there are some phases to be completed so it is being done accordingly but project is you know progressing as per schedule right? as per schedule okay and uh, last question is about this irrigation project which you received recently uh you said you are partner in with someone can you share the name of the partner in that so it's a local partner uh, some near yeah, shift structure or some, some name is there yeah local partner it's a local partner okay okay sir okay that was from my side thanks a lot thank you the next question is on the line of viraj mahadevya from money group please go ahead hi thank you for taking my question Uh, well understood on the order book build up slow down given erections etc but the q1 fy25 revenue from operations was that slower or flat based on the monsoon or what was the reason for lack of pick up given that we already had an existing order book so see there are couple of things in there one is uh, because there was a minimal order inflow in the last year so the orders our revenue is flat we had expected a little jump up but there were some early monsoons at some of the project sites so then this quarter revenue was flat but on a full year basis we still expect to you know be there around 10% understood Uh, any plans given the 650 odd uh, term loan debt any plans to hive off the non core assets that you all have highlighted before any progress on that in terms of land parcels etc in prime locations to bring that down faster apart from the arbitration money of 200 plus crores every year see we we are in uh, discussion for various land parcels so post elections again you know the things will start because till election things were not there were no discussions happening and right. so let's see maybe not this year something next year understood okay all the all the very best thank you thank you ladies and gentlemen just a reminder anyone who wishes to ask a question may press star and one on the touchstone telephone now the next question is from the line of ram garg from ladder rep finance limited please go ahead hello ram please go thanks. ahead thanks for the opportunity uh, my first question is with respect to what is the convert, uh, convert, uh, conversion ratio of uh, order winning in the past so between 20 to 25% So if we are bidding for fifty thousand crores of order, uh, then we can expect somewhere around ten to twelve thousand five hundred crores of order book debt to incur in this year. Yeah, that's what. And uh, we uh, we remain intact with our revenue and EBITDA margin guidance that has been provided earlier uh, for ten to fifteen percent growth in revenue and around fifteen percent EBITDA margin level. Yeah, so we still expect around 10% growth in revenue. The EBITDA will be maintained like 14% or what was there. Okay, and uh, with respect to the arbitration, do we do we expect uh, more arbitration awards to be received in this 
फाइनेंशियल ईयर और इट इज अप टू द लेवल ऑफ टू ट्वेंटी एंड टू थर्टी करोड लेवल so we'll see maybe you know some uh, collections may happen but we're not sure whether this year it may go up to next year okay okay thank you so much that's it from, from my side all the best thank you the next question is on the line of shelly from unity finance please go ahead hello hello hi good evening So my question is, how do you plan to boost new orders this year after the slowdown in financial year 24? So there are a lot of orders which were pending and in pipeline to be coming up for bidding post election. So now the bidding is started, and uh, we expect a lot of orders to come in in the next one year. Okay. So with the MD sudden passing, what's the plan for leadership going forward? Jankee Patel uh, has taken over the role of chairperson, representing the promoter group, and I have now assumed the role of managing director of the company. Okay, okay, thank you. Thanks. Thank you. The next question is on the line of Manu Chindan from Thorin Technology. Please go ahead. Yeah, good evening, uh, sir and ma'am. so my very first question is regarding the press release where you have mentioned the consolidated q1 fy24 part of 38.29 crore whereas in the presentation that part is around 50.26 crore can you just uh, uh, help me out here like why is there a divergence as it due to the other income piece प्रेस रिलीज इट इज रिटर्न दैट क्यू वन एफ वाई ट्वेंटी फोर पैट इज थर्टी एट पॉइंट टू नाइन PR. There is in the presentation Q1 FY24 part is written as 50.26 CR. So why is there? Okay, so 50.26 CR in the presentation is net profit from continuing operations. Uh, if you last year there was some discontinued operations for a subsidiary which was sold, so that 12 okay. crore negative was there, and then net was 38. Oh, I get it. I get it. uh so my second question is uh, regarding the value of non core assets still remaining with the group and what according to your expectation would be the timeline when it would be monetized so see we expect out of the land bank what we have we will first target new land parcels of maybe between mm-hmm. 200 to 300 crores and that realization timeline is over next 1 2 years apart got from it. this got whatever it. money will get from arbitration or what is extra got it and sir uh, regarding the order bit book which you have mentioned where you have broken down the percentage wise completion stage just wanted to know what is the general of all the order book What is the general duration of these projects? Like, if you say the average duration, or I don't know, uh, like the metric which you track for the durations of these projects, what are what is the average duration of for these projects? Four years is what is the book to bill ratio right now. Got it. And uh, the revenue rec- recognition is based on the milestone. Like, as and when the milestones are achieved, you invoice it to the customer am i correct uh, so it is a per- on percentage completion basis the revenue is booked and invoices in uh, projects are on monthly basis based on the uh, quantity executed as per the contract okay and sir uh, regarding the completion stage of below 10% where your order book is 6613 crores as per the presentation what is 61 crores how much is yeah What is the order book which is not even started yet? Uh, 
like below 10 percent we know it's 6613 pr but what is the order book that has not yet been started like what is the zero percent mark like what is the value of that order book so only one project which was l1 and now as a loa is received rest all projects have started so there is no project which okay. is stalled or anything okay thank you sir thanks a lot that's it from my side thank you ladies and gentlemen just a reminder anyone who wishes to ask a question may press star and one on the touch tone telephone now i will repeat anyone who wishes to ask a question may press star and one on the touch tone telephone the next question is from the line of ananya swami nathan from c square info solution limited please go ahead thank you for taking my question again uh, i wanted to know what is our plan for long term debt reduction and will there be any interest cost saving see interest cost saving is there in this year because of debt reduction happened and uh, the long term plan is the term that we want to make it nil over the next 2 3 years there will be working capital debt based on some additional projects taken some additional working capital debt may be taken but the overall serviceable debt may not increase okay okay sir and is there any uh, further revision for credit rating is it possible so it was recently upgraded to a minus from triple b plus post our march results next uh, review may happen probably after end of march next year okay sir and what is your outlook for road sector how much order we are targeting sorry i could not hear your question can you repeat please uh what is your outlook for road sector specifically like how much order are we targeting road sector is not a core focus target for us but we will still look for projects and you know whenever we expect good projects to come so road project uh, selectively we will bid for the projects okay okay so any other focus area which you would like to highlight the focus area would be hydropower projects pump storage projects which are coming up new newly 60 gigawatt of pump storage projects are expected to come up in the next few years so that is one area which we see that lot of projects will come government in budget also has given focus on that so apart from that irrigation tunneling all we are doing anyway so that will continue to do okay so what is the expected building in that area So right now, whatever fifty thousand crores we identified is covering everything. Then maybe after six months, we'll see more of new more projects will come. Okay, and any new projects in northeast from northeast? Yeah, just there northeast also. Okay. Okay, sir. Thank you. Thank you. The next question is from the line of Ashika Trivedi from KDA Securities Private Limited. Please go ahead. Hello, sir. Am I audible? Yes. Uh, yes. Yeah. Okay, so my question is that in the opening comments, we have highlighted pump storage as a huge opportunity. So, have we executed any order in this segment in the past? Yes, we are doing one pump storage project right now. Around four pump project uh, pump storage projects are being executed in India. One we are doing. So, are we doing it in a partnership or standalone basis? Standalone. Standalone. Yeah. Okay. And who would be our competitors in this space? So, it is similar to what we have for competition for hydro power projects. Okay. Thank you, sir. Thank you. The next question is from the line of Ashwin from Kojin. Please go ahead. yeah thank you sir thank you uh, for the opportunity so we are seeing a remarkable uh, increase in our net profit so can you just highlight some points because on a flat growth uh, we are really done very good at the bottom line level so can you please highlight what has given such a 25% plus growth uh, at our bottom line for the consolidated numbers majority would be reduction in the finance cost because we have reduced finance cost by around 4 uh, 5 crores so that is one of the major reasons and rest 
what we what we see is uh, little uh, this quarter little EBITDA margin was higher than compared to the previous 1.1 percent. Okay. So what is the plan for the whole FY twenty five towards your debt repayment? The debt repayment right now we have already uh, made debt repayments for whatever money we have realized from arbitration awards and also we had surplus money from QIP which has been reduced used to reduce the debt which may be used for working capital when the new projects come in and going forward as and when money gets realized from arbitration awards or other non core assets we will reduce the debt. Okay. So, uh, so what kind of a growth guidance you would like to give uh, for net profit or for the year? Net profit, see it is done, turnover and EBITDA is similar. So net profit accordingly got savings in further and apart from that interest cost will be there from last year. Hmm. So that will directly add to the net profit. Okay. And so we have our current order book standing as on June is around 17,800 17, crores. So uh, what is the timeline when we expect this I mean, for the first 25? How much do we expect in terms of the revenue and going forward for the 26-27 from the current order book? So this is a book to bill ratio of four times. Okay. So accordingly the revenue will be there. And so, Master, uh, please accept my condolences to us, uh, Mr. Patel's family line. But after his succeed professionally, uh, the, the company has been very successfully handled by uh, you, you and uh, Savita Ma'am and other professionals. So, what kind of a confidence? Uh, do you, have you faced anything, uh, any problem uh, while uh, applying for any tenders or receiving any tenders uh, with the change in the management? Or how is the response? So tender is based on our company pre-qualification. So there is no issue as such. We are continue bidding for the projects. So there, there is a positive response to the team. Yeah, and see all staff, senior staff and all, they are there for the company for this long. So that thing continues. There is no change as such at that location. So for us, business as usual, we are continue bidding for the projects. Our execution at all project sites are also going on as per schedule. Well, but see, the company has been handled with the professional team for the past couple of weeks, but there are sentiments. So I just wanted to understand any response. Yeah, from correct. Your correct. No, you are right, correct. So bidding, there is no issue as such. Bidding is no issue. And sir, are we planning to materialize anything from the land sale or the asset sale which we have to monetize or we will keep it on a hold again uh, to see the good value coming up first thing? So we will keep on discussing. We are not in a rush to do it. We will keep on discussing as and when we get good offers, we will go ahead. Oh, okay. Thank you so much for my advice and I wish you all the best. Thank you. Thank you. The next question is on the line of Snehal Pawar from PSP Capital. Please go ahead. Hello, Snehal. Please go ahead. Hello. Am I audible? Yes. Uh, so, my question was, uh, which projects or sector will you prioritize in the upcoming year? So, we would like to maintain a similar mix, a hydro Pump storage projects would be maximum portion of the auto book. Rest other segments will cover balance 40 to 45 percent. Okay. Okay. Uh, so one more additional question, sir. Main factors behind improved margin that we have seen in uh, this finance is that this quarter. Q1 FI 25. No, just about the mix of the work. Okay. Okay. Thank you so much. Thank you. The next question is on the line of Manu Jinder from Thorin Technology. Please go ahead. Hello. Hello. Yeah. Uh, sir, my another question is regarding the competitive intensity. 
like recently uh, i think four to five months ago there was a news article which was mentioning that patel's share of hydroelectric uh, energy sector is like 45% it has jumped from 25% to 45% just wanted to know like uh like 45% is a pretty huge uh, market share what is it that patel engineering enjoys as a competitive advantage which bigger players uh, are unable to match that kind of uh, you know that kind of f in this market so see we have like you know the experience factor which is there for a very long we have been working the most of the projects of hydropower projects come in the northeast jnk marshal and we have been working there since ages so we know the terrain well so we are able to plan well and we have that experienced staff equipment and everything so the hydro is again a specialized work so see, we are Correct. known for yeah yeah sorry we are known for our unmatched capabilities in successfully undertaking challenging and time consuming projects in the hydro segment so we have a team of you know uh, like technical team strong technical team and capabilities which which differentiate us uh, from rest of the others oh, and ma'am my uh, uh, last question is about the technology upgrades which happen in this sector like how do we essentially ensure that we are upgrading the technologies how do we uh, get this knowledge transfer is it by visiting other countries or how does it exactly happen so like see we have a mechanical head we have a procurement and source head we have a technical technology head like who is evaluating and assessing the whatever latest technology available in the market we try to implement like recent example at our kiru project we you know we develop and uh, i think assemble tower bell system for the concreting mass concreting so mm-hmm. we did on our own this is first time in india we did actually so these kind yeah, of you know, innovation research and development we have a special team allocated for these task also And yeah, they go across all the world to look at new and identify new technologies. Sure. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, sir. That's it for my. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Just a reminder: anyone who wishes to ask a question, we press star and one on the touchstone telephone now. I will repeat: anyone who wishes to ask a question, we press star and one on the touchstone telephone now. The next question is on the line of Ananya Swaminathan from C Square Info Solution Limited. Please go ahead. Uh, yes, uh, thank you. Uh, I wanted to know as China is expanding over Brahmaputra, so do you have any idea what Indian government is doing? Are there any new hydro projects come? Is is government planning so that in you know to prevent flood or anything? So there are multiple projects identified in the northeast and so they are coming there okay like apart from northeast himachal or uttarakhand are there any new uh, upcoming projects from himachal yes so himachal northeast uttarakhand jnk nepal these are the main places where the upcoming projects will be there okay okay all right sir thank you ladies and gentlemen as this was the last question i will now like to hand the conference to the ben i will now like to hand the conference over to mr jainam savle from closing comments uh, thank you everyone for joining the conference call of portal engineering limited if you have any queries you can write us at research@kirinadvisors.com once again thank you everyone for joining the conference call on behalf of kgn advisors that concludes this conference thank you for joining us and you may now disconnect your lines thank you